The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. This Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre project on leveraging an integrated information lifecycle management framework seeks to examine the best practices and international standards related to the use of structured and integrated data. It aims to facilitate the consistent adoption of digital information for project lifecycle management. This project has three specific objectives. The first objective is to provide a holistic review of the best practices and international standards related to structured and integrated data. The second objective is to demonstrate how such integrated and structured data can be used to understand the impacts of decisions across the project lifecycle. The third objective is to facilitate education for industry and broader community on the needs and method of using structured data. This will help prepare for the wider adoption of building information modeling and digital engineering in the building, transport and infrastructure sectors. Yeah, so this particular project was a, a case study on digital engineering and the use of data in decision making and we've been able to use our high-speed data that we collect every, every two years uh, for cracking on a road surface, so it's all important. The road surface looks after the vehicles with friction, also looks after the underlying pavement worth something like eight or nine billion dollars, so highly important. We were able to um, mimic uh, people, so our inspectors would do an inspection. We've also got the high-speed cracking data, which is the modern laser and, and camera technology. And we've been able to, through this uh, project, to uh, basically mimic what a, an inspector who knew what he was doing was able to, to do. And we can do this without having a guy in a car driving around hundreds of kilometres of road, which is not necessarily safe, using the high-speed data. So we've been able to gain accuracy of 90% to what, a, uh, what an inspector would do. We've also found out that our inspectors differ, so if you use one or two different inspectors you can get a different answer. Uh, the high-speed data enables us to uh, iron out those differences into the future. So the outcome, we're looking at a, a future where we, we do less people, safer, and use a more, uh, I suppose, consistent measure through high-speed data and the analytics that we can use with the system. The benefit of the, of the research centre is their uh, ability to use data analytics and the power they have with, uh, with the university to be able to leverage off uh, that experience, knowledge, ability to do what we would struggle to do with our resources and computing power. The National Research Centre has developed a chain of projects designed to continually enhance the efficacy of life cycle asset management using building, information models and digital engineering platforms. The previous project to this one established the use of life cycle thinking supported by innovation and technologies which included BIM, machine learning and whole of life costing to realise facility values. Arising from this, industry needs were identified to develop consistency in approach and data structure to allow efficient data transfer from one solution to another. Consequently, this current project undertook to develop an approach to structure and integrate quality data in the building, housing and road sectors. This was to be supported by developing a data-driven decision framework and a path ahead for the education of industry. The project has been successfully completed with the publication of a report which can efficiently guide industry on how to structure asset data by leveraging existing well-established data standards. Supporting this is a final industry report on a series of case studies which demonstrate how information and data can be collected, exchanged, stored and used at various life cycle stages of building and infrastructure projects.
Being privileged to be chair of the project steering group, I can assure industry that the project was successful. This is largely brought about by a highly productive partnership among centre staff, industry and government agencies, supported by the excellent research capability of universities across Australia. <laughs>